So on Thursday's episode, if you go back and watch it, while we're filming, my Jeep took off. Oh. Somebody took my Jeep. Okay. It's gone. So wow. I just went, you can watch, watch it go away. I'm in here and the Jeep went bye bye. We'll be right back. Well, good morning. Welcome to Wake Up. When we wake up. I'm Pastor Jason. I'm Pastor Scott. I need to ride home. And uh, we got a great time planned for you this morning. You look good. They're looking great. Thank mm -hmm. you for making us the number one daily Bible study. Hey, if you have a prayer, do, you, do is there any type of uh, line? We should do like something. A prayer line know. would be awesome. Yeah, we have a prayer now, line. Now, if we had a prayer line, what would the phone number be? 480-937-2330. And if you're a new subscriber, type in where, that from, where you're from. We like to read that on Wednesdays. Don't forget to hit like and watch this three times so we can triple our views. Oh, yeah, do it. And even if you just hit, just... Hit play and go do something else. Just loop it. Just loop it. Loop that baby. <laughs> we got a scripture. Triple abuse. We got a scripture today. Yeah. We're talking about your message. It was a wonderful being, message. It's about being an influencer. It's about going low so God takes you high. It's about letting God worry about your reputation, your name, your success, your increase, your honor. And be salty. Just be salty. That's what man. I said. Be salty. But not the like the angry says, kind of salty. T-shirt says, "Be salt." I'm salty. Yeah. And I am salty because Jesus said, "I'm the salty." What was the last thing Jesus told us all to do? Yeah, well, he told us to make disciples of all peoples. Yeah, go forth and be an influence. Yeah. Influence the world. And the last thing, like when your wife is leaving the house and she sometimes maybe gives you the one thing to do when she's gone. Yeah. What if you did everything but that? It doesn't matter. <laughs> It like the I, last thing is the most important thing. I asked you to right? pick up the kid from school. Like that's the one you forgot though? That was a, <laughs> that's a pretty big one. That was a good one. But I did the dishes. Isn't that worth something? <laughs> the last thing seems to be the most important thing. Yeah. So Jesus like, hey, real quickly before I go. Yeah. If you guys can do this. Yep. Make disciples. And so our scripture today, um, and we were kind of talking about the the uh, James and John's mom coming in and saying, hey, I want my boys to be great. <laughs> right. And he says, hey, go, go low. Don't worry about position. Don't worry about those things. And so here in Luke 7, 28, uh, Jesus is like, I tell you, among those born of women, none is greater than John. John, he's talking about his, his cousin, John, John the Baptist. I like that though. That's, yep. that's like everybody watches like, really? Because Elijah, Elisha, Daniel, Solomon, David. But even the people in the room. Abraham. Hey, I'm pretty good. <laughs> What about me? I'm not bad. I work hard. Yeah. I'm not a slacker. I don't slack. <laughs> Yet the one who is least in the kingdom of God is greater than me. And he's saying so, again, don't get concerned. So salvation hasn't come yet to the earth. Right. And so uh, Jesus hasn't died yet. Right. So he's saying, uh, you know, you, you can't get into the kingdom of God just yet. I, don't have, I haven't unlocked it. Oh. But when you get in, you right. could be the lowest and you're still greater than John the Baptist. You could be the lowest, and you're still greater. You could be the worst of the worst. And be better than Peter. Peter and, better. and so you get the idea, too, that it's it, that, that the, go low. Go be low. the least. Don't worry about Let it. Let God make you the greatest. Don't try to be the one that's the bright light, in a sense, of the, like the office where the boss is looking at you. Get other, the boss to look at other people. Yeah. Right? Shine your, because I'm going to be a light. I shine my light. So wherever I shine a light on is what people look at, mm -hmm. right? And if I'm just shining it on myself, and look what I did, look how awesome I am. It never works. It doesn't, does it? No. It's better to let God elevate you Thank than you. for you to try and elevate yourself. It's always, you always go higher. Because yeah. as soon as you begin to shine a light on you, everybody around you, yeah. right, they then try to sabotage. Survivor's a great example mm -hmm. of this, mm -hmm. right? Survivor, it's all about the ones that go to the end in Survivor, which is one of our favorite shows to watch. <laughs> yeah, I love that show. Is the ones who, who don't shine a light mm -hmm. on themselves. Mm -hmm. Look at me. Right. Look what I did. Mm -hmm. What about the one where the Just guy... Just fly under the radar, the guy, baby. This is the worst one. The guy gave a truck away to somebody else. Remember that one? <laughs> oh, I do remember that one. He gave him a truck. Yeah. Just so he wouldn't vote him. And then what did he do? The very next vote, he voted him off. Yeah. And then everybody around was like, well, he's going to win because he gave a truck to somebody. <laughs> Isn't that how broken the system it is? It is. It is. But he, didn't g he also gave the truck, though, because you're like, well, how come it didn't work? Because his, the way he gave it was for his own advantage. Yeah. He didn't give the truck to be loving. No. He gave a truck to try and win a million dollars. Yep. And everybody said, bye-bye. <laughs> so when we go into the world... And we're the ones that are trying to be popular. And we're the ones that are worried about being famous. And we're the ones that are trying to shine a light on ourselves. 
it doesn't seem to go far. No, it's but, the world's way. It, but what know, I encourage and a lot others, of times you end up putting people down so that right. you can be above, you know. Yeah, you know about you know Ted. Yeah. You know, you know Betty. Yeah, and it doesn't work. It's better. It, the Bible says that Jesus, though equal with God, did not consider equality with God something to be had, but took on the form of a servant. Right. And and the nature of a human coming to us in flesh, even sinful flesh, and then humbled himself to the point of the cross, even you know death. And there, then it says, therefore God exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name. And so, so when you go low, there's a therefore God in your future. Oh, I love the therefore God. Right? So when you, when you elevated someone else at work, therefore God. There's a therefore God that you're painting into your future oh, every time that, you go low. I need that on a shirt. Therefore God. Therefore God. I love a therefore we God. We need a therefore God. See, when you go low, there's a, it, it causes God to respond to what you did. Oh, yeah. And it's, and it's not normal behavior, is it? No, it's no, no, no. That's what makes it so. Everybody's weird. trying to climb on top of each other to get to the right. top. But when you lift someone else up, there's a therefore God. And people are like, and it actually throws everybody off in the office when you did something. And I go, oh yeah, he, yeah, he did that. He came up with that idea. And everybody's like, uh, okay, <laughs> yeah, I get, it, kinda, cool. Yeah. And you oftentimes destroy. You be, you create a team rather than a me. Okay. Like, don't you hate it in a sports like? You know, somebody gets up there. He's like, "Yeah, it's me. Yeah. I'm the one. I'm the difference maker on the team." And we yeah. all look at there and go, "Oh, oh, whatever." Yeah. Like we don't like it. We lo- we like the guy that goes, "Hey, if it wasn't for my linemen, if it wasn't for the coaches, yeah. if it wasn't, I would be." No- which is true. I would be nothing. If it weren't for the I Lord, I would be nothing. I like that. Um, I, I think, gosh darn it, I think it's Roger Stahlbeck has a story in his book. Mom mm-hmm. gave me his book mm-hmm. when I was young, and he tells a story when he showed up. He was like this. He was supposed to be a. He was a stud in mm-hmm. a sense in his mm-hmm. own mind. And uh, so he was like, kind of cocky in the locker room and everything with the thing. And so during the first scrimmage, his uh, center, he just let the guy come by and just sack him. And he goes, just so you know, you're not that without us. Wow. And Roger Staubach said, that was a difference making for me. <laughs> I found out that, wait a second, I will go nowhere without these guys. <laughs> I'm not the big cheese that I thought I was. Guess what? Where, where did that saying come from, the big cheese? <laughs> Is there like a big cheese somewhere that everyone was like, well, that's the big cheese. And people were like really in awe of that particular cheese. Why would you even want to be the big cheese? You're like, well, I want to be the big cheese because it was like, have you seen the big cheese? That thing was big, boy. (laughs) That was huge. So 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 26. Wait, wait, two scriptures? We have have a one scripture limit. (laughs) Brothers and sisters, think of what you were when you were called. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many of you were influential. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. So, oh. so God reaches down to the bottom right. to bring up to the top so that, so that everybody knows, including the person who was at the bottom who just got lifted up, that God gets the glory. See, we're yogurt. So that no man can boast. We're the, we're the, we're the fruit at the bottom of the yogurt. I love the fruit at the bottom of the yogurt. You know that the first few times I tried yogurt, I didn't know there was fruit, and I threw it away. Well, you're like, well, I always took it. It says strawberry like, yogurt. I'm like, no... It doesn't even taste like strawberry. <laughs> the fruit's at the bottom. And then, the ball was like, it. you keep throwing away the yogurt. Don't you like it? I'm like, no, it doesn't even taste like strawberry. Did you mix it? Oh, yeah, of course I mixed it. I'm sorry. Why do I have to mix yeah, yogurt? Yeah, it's like the butler around Can the place? yogurt people please take a memo right now, write this just, down? Just you mix, can mix it yourself. Sell pre-mixed yogurt. Yeah. Already been mixed. People will buy it. <laughs> you don't buy a soda and they're like, well, here's the carbonated water, here's the flavor, and just put it all together. <laughs> You're like, well, why did I do that? It's just come together. <laughs> it's a frozen lasagna dinner. Here's the noodles. <laughs> here's the sauce. Here's the cheese. It's all frozen. Listen, you got to put it all together. together. <laughs> Actually, it goes even further. It's like, here's the flour, here's the eggs, you gotta make your noodles. You gotta make your noodles. You're like, well, I don't even need you. <laughs> so it's because of Christ Jesus in us. It is because of the Lord that we get lifted up. And so we let God be our increase. We let right. God be the one who, who launches us up to the top. Our job is to lift others up, to encourage others, to serve others. You know, if if what's the greatest thing about uh, about God's definition of greatness is that it's the servant and anybody yes. can serve. Yes. And so anybody can be great. You can be great. Just serve. Pray over the day. Father God, I thank you and praise you, Lord, for this, this word that we receive today. And let us go into our day as servants. Let us go into our day low, not trying to jockey for position, Father, to elevate ourselves, but that we might go into our day elevating others, lifting up others, encouraging others, helping others, Father, because we know that you reward us, that you are the one who exalts us. 
that throughout our day as we go low and help others, that there is a therefore God, there is a response of you, a reward that's coming in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Watch this clip. You know, Jesus could have come to this earth in any form, but he chose to come at the lowest of the, right, a baby, so vulnerable, right? Jesus could have come as a, as a grown man. He could have come looking like the Thor, right, with the biceps and the guns. He could have come like the rock, right? People are like, whoa. That, or he could have come like me right here, five foot four, a savior. Been crazy and awesome, right? Come on, that's a whole lot of savior. <laughs> Chose any form, but he came as a baby, and he could have come to maybe been a prince, could have come to an emperor, right? He came to two unknown people who took down to Bethlehem, put him in a manger, right? Didn't even really have anything in his life. He came at the bottom and allowed God to take him to the top. Right? It wasn't about what he got and what he had. Right? It's not about all the things that the world says that are important today. He just simply came down. And then you see that, who did he choose? Now remember, he could have chosen the best philosophers of the day to be his disciples. Could have went to the best theologian school. Right? Could have got the top speakers and orators of the word. He could have got the most popular people. Could have got one of the big gladiators or maybe got a ruler or a king and said, hey, you be my disciple. Who did Jesus grab? He grabbed people that were fishing, tax collectors, right? He got people that no one even knew about. No one was even, no. See how God works. We get so concerned because it feels like I'm on the bottom. And guess what? That's right where I want to be because I know that when I'm on the bottom, God wants to use those on the bottom to do the biggest things. Through, through the scriptures, he always chooses who the world throws away. He takes Rahab the prostitute to be in the lineage of Jesus Christ. He takes the ugly sister Leah instead of the beautiful sister to be in the lineage of Jesus Christ. He's showing you and I, he'll take a murderer like Moses says, let me use you to make a difference in this world. If you feel like you're in the bottom, you just need to get excited because God wants to take you to the top. And now it's God and not me. It's not my popularity, but it's God working through me that can take me to the next level in this lifetime. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Yep. What Be is church jockey? This weekend. Jockey for position. Yeah, haven't you ever heard of that before? No, I don't. Well, I, you in a horse it. race, they're, they're, the jockey is, right. the, that's where you get that term. Like you're jockeying for that first place. That's kind of cool. And so in order to win, you have someone else has to lose. But you you have, have to pass someone. But there's, I don't think there's any other sport where like they use your name as what you do. Like the center, they don't go, oh, he's centering for position. Oh, that's true. The guard, oh, the guard's guarding. Yeah, the jockey, he gets like a whole like, like a his, saying. He's, he's jockeying. jockeying. And it works. Oh, that first baseman, he's first basing. He's first basing? <laughs> you go, what does that even mean? Well, he's first basing. The pitcher, he's pitching. <laughs> of course he is. Yeah, well, that does work. That does work. He yeah. The catcher is catching. Okay. Okay, there the are. coaches. Our coaching. coaching. Yeah. The water boy is watering. Water boying. <laughs> I don't even know where we went. We'll, we'll watch this clip. We Wait, watch the clip. Watch what, it again. what do we do? Watch it. We go. We I say bye. You. <laughs> I got lost. Sing a song. Hurry. The pastor is pastoring. Sing something. <laughs> Save us with a song. <laughs> See you tomorrow.